station is Cobbett Square. Just give me a sec and we'll be out of here. Ready when you are. I did my lunch already, so you don't need to worry about that. And I know you said I couldn't have crisp sandwiches, but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five a day. Oh, and before I forget, you know I asked you to sign my homework diary. Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. By the way, a friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash while you're there. You know, the one with the picture of the dragon on the bottle. It's the best one because it shows all the bits of bad breath in the sink when you spit it out. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? My friend Dylan has one. He said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. Maybe we could share it with two different brush heads, obviously. You need a new toothbrush anyway, and your one has hairs all over it. And it looks as flat as a pancake. Dad, how come I have hair and you don't? You have some, but it's in the shape of a horse. Right, let's go. Phone, Dad. Damn it. Give it a buzz for me, Mum. Calling. Downstairs is the rotten turnip. Oh, slow down, Mom. Not sure I'm up to a race. some post for that man, Jack. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Well, postman not doing his job properly, I suppose. Guess we better do it for him. Roger that! So, chicken dippers for dinner? Oh, I don't know. Probably should try and be a bit more healthy. How about white fish on a bed of lentils? Wow, get you, Jamie Oliver. Oh, hey. I've uh, got your post again. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, cheers. Jack, your clothes look mental. <laughs> what? No, they're not. Mm, 
They are a bit. They're so tight, doesn't your will get pinched? <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Uh, do you have any posts for us? Yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. Here you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile. Oh, thanks. You messed up, Jack. Anyway, um, I've really got to run. Don't give yourself a wedgie. You see that? Laziness. Couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Promise me you won't turn out like that. Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. Now that's what I like to hear. Why don't you and Jack be friends? You don't have any friends. Well, that's a bit harsh. What about Shazia? Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog and have stupid hair. Yeah, your definition of cool is slightly different to my mum. You were joking about fish on a bed of mentals, right? We can't have greasy food every night to get me in trouble. I don't think they can take me away for having chicken dippers. I think some of these letters are from social services again. Don't worry. If they send one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubber chute. Right, see you later then, nuisance. Don't forget dinner. Love you too. Gross. Bye, Dad. Hello again. Small world. Yep. This your normal commute? Sorry, mate, what with that? Okay, well, I'll, I'll let you get back to whatever it is you're doing on your phone. Sorry, I'm being rude. Don't worry. See you around. You blue!
bloody idiots! Oh, phone! That's expensive stuff! Are you guys alright? The screen smashed. Do you know how expensive these are? I'm sorry about him. Let me, uh, let me help you out. Get away from my stuff, thief! All right, fine. Give me your arm. <laughs> you two, you two, you two. We're made for each other. What the hell just happened? Sorry, mate. Oh, gotta go. Right. What time do you call this? Sorry, I um, got held up. Oh, never mind that. I need your advice on something. Let's hear it. So, I met Dan again last night. You know, the one with the funny ears. Sorry. There's just too many to keep track of. Anyway, he invited me back to his last night. Finally! Nice work. Has he texted you since? Oh, John. Bless. No one texts back that quick. So are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? I thought you were telling me about Darren. I'll fill you in on that later. Please say you'll come out. You're the only one I can talk to. Oh, Thursday's not good because, you know, got to work Friday. Plus, I have to look after Molly. I'm going to get you on the dating scene before this year's up. Morning, or should I say afternoon? It's only just gone nine. Nine oh two by my watch. Synced to Big Ben. That's that's very clever. Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. You're our supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do any work round here? If you knew the pressure I'm under to hit the new targets, the fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. We all have targets. Oh, he's popped up, hasn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. Yeah, because he was in hospital. Shaz, that's tragic. Come on. Sake. Print, you bastard! Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. The printer doesn't work. Again. Thanks. Did you say you would like to change your account details? Need help with printer. I'll put you through to one of our support team advisors. Finally. We are currently experiencing a high number of calls. You are number 164 in the queue. Please hold. All right, 5.30. Let's get out of here. John, mate, where do you think you're going? Um, I'm going home. It's 5pm. I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it.
No, I didn't get your email. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. Anyway, I need the Royal Oak files completed by the start of tomorrow. I think it can keep. Mm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's cases. I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. Thanks, Shaz, but it's, it's OK. What about Molly? I'll get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. All right. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Shaz. And remember, it's a school night, so don't get up to too much trouble. Ugh. You never sent an email, did you? Shit rolls downhill, mate. You forgot dinner, didn't you? Yeah, maybe there's something in the kitchen we can throw together. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. So much for healthy eating. Who am I to complain? It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. It can't be helped, I'm afraid. I've taken too much time off already this year to complain about staying late. The only thing I could do is get you a childminder. Do you really want that? Yes. You don't need a childminder. And anyway, we can't afford one. Well, I did my homework. Do you want to check it? You don't need me to check it. You're smarter than me anyway. I'm just going to rest my eyes for a minute and then, uh, then I'll sort out dinner. Sorry. I think I overslept again. Wait a minute. Where am I? Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? Where the hell am I? What's up with my voice? My body feels weird. 